welcome back to another new vlog. My name is Bailey. I am a fourth year fourth grade teacher this year and today we're starting off a new vlog, a week in my life vlog. Yesterday was our first official day of school and it was a half day. I did vlog the entire day so if you missed that make sure to go check that out. Today is the first full day of school. The rest of this week, Tuesday, today, full day of school, Wednesday, full day of school, Thursday, full day of school, no school Friday, no school on Monday. So I'm gonna be vlogging the rest of this week, the next three full days of school. If you saw my vlog from yesterday, then you saw me prepare all of my materials for today. I set it out basically as if I was having a sub. I have very detailed lesson plans and then all my supplies organized in order of how I'm gonna do them today out on my desk. I also filled in my whiteboard schedule, got all of that ready to go. And the last thing I need to do to be ready for today is to just get my welcome slide up. It's already done, but I just need to get it up. Got the slide up super quick and easy, so I'm fully ready for today. I had a few families donate from my Amazon wish list. Books are my absolute favorite thing to put on my Amazon wish list and to get as a gift. I want to show you what I put on there and what I got. The first one is a new one. If you haven't seen this, then I definitely recommend checking it out. I just read it and I cannot wait to use it either this week or next week. It's called Collaboration Station and this author and illustrator, I have every book that they have collaborated on. I love them. I'm super glad to be adding this one to my collection. This one is one that I use during either the first or second week of school as I'm getting ready for science. I usually just watch the YouTube video, but now I have the book and I'm really happy that I do. Basically, the whole book is this rabbit saying, I'm not in a box, I'm in whatever. It's encouraging creativity. I give them their own box and then they have to turn it into something else. So I do a whole lesson around that. I'll probably talk about this more at some point during this vlog. I got two little seasonal books. I got Creepy Carrots. I have a lot of these books, if not all of them now. Love pulling these out around Halloween. And then I also got How to Catch a Turkey. So I can pull this one out around Thanksgiving. Super excited and thankful for these. I also got a few supply donations for me in the classroom. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna write a few thank you notes. Things like the books or supplies like tissues and wipes and snack donations for our classroom. I like to hand out one of these. At some point this week, we are going to all write our name on this little piece of paper. And then I just write a little note like, thank you for donating snacks to our classroom and send this home as a little thank you for donating to our classroom. If something is a gift just to me, then I go ahead and write a little thank you note. And I got these just blank cards on Amazon and I use these for my thank you notes. They were really inexpensive and I got so many of them. They've lasted a long time. So I definitely recommend getting some blank cards on Amazon. They also have super cute bulk thank you cards. Definitely check out Amazon for little cards like this or thank you cards. I still have about 30 minutes. So the only thing that I'm really hoping to get done before they come in today is to get my thank you notes done. Next time I see you, we'll probably be at lunch. Morning was good. We did everything that I had planned and that I wanted to do. And I felt like the times were really nice. We were able to get everything done in the time that I had planned. So that's always nice. And then I had my plan time, which I just used to kind of get ready for this afternoon. I had to set out a few things for our self-portrait project. So I got their little face pads and the construction paper and the frame paper and background paper and all that ready to go. I'll show you that in just a second. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do this afternoon, and that's all ready. I don't really know what I was saying, but I ended up talking to quite a few people and eating my lunch really quickly. So basically, it's time for me to go to the bathroom, and then they're going to be coming back. But I did want to show you the things that I set out for the self-portrait project. First step of the project is picking the background and then also a frame that we're going to create. So they're going to come over and pick two different pieces of paper. And I'm going to show them how to make the frame together. So basically, we just take a ruler draw a line, ruler, draw a line, ruler, draw a line, ruler, draw a line. We create a box. We fold the paper in half and cut it out. So then we have the background paper and a frame for them. Next up, they're going to get a face pad. And then the rest of it is just cardstock that they can use for the teeth, the eyes, the lips, the hair, anything that they want to add to their self-portrait. And again, this is the slide that I'm going to have up for them. I have a lot of examples on here. That way they can kind of get an idea of what we're working towards. A little checklist that's often very helpful just in case they forget something. And then a reminder of the rules. They're just going to use paper that I have out, scissors, and glue. They are not using pencils for this activity. After we do the frame part, no more pencils. And that's it. So it's going to be a very fun afternoon. I can't wait to show you their self-portraits when we're all done. Self-portraits and the first full day is officially done. 
I'm going to wait to put these up. I just have a few that I need to finish up tomorrow. So I'm going to wait to put these all up. I put them up over there on my wall. I'm going to leave these for now, but I do need to clean up the aftermath of the self-portrait project. So I'm going to clean this up right now, and then that's probably the last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to head out. Whiteboard is reset for tomorrow and that was the last thing that I wanted to do today. It is 91 degrees and again we do not have air conditioning so I'm ready to go home, shower, and relax. I'm all ready for tomorrow so I'll see you then. Happy Thursday. I did not vlog yesterday because we didn't have school yesterday. There were a lot of buildings and homes in our district that lost power because of a storm. School was canceled, but we're back again today just for one day. So one full day and then we have a four day weekend. I did work on something yesterday that I wanted to chat about though. I worked in my e-blast, which is something that I've done over the years and I have talked about before, but if you're new or need a reminder, let me show you what that looks like. Here's what I have so far for this week. My weekly e-blast is a way for me to communicate weekly to my students' adults at home. I send out an email each Friday afternoon just to the families in my classroom, and this is what that looks like. The first thing I make sure to include is a picture from our classroom at some point during the week. Then here I have a caption that is, of course, to explain what, why, or how we were doing whatever was happening in the photo, just providing some additional information. But for the first two weeks, I make sure to include a picture that does not have any students in it. I just share this message down here, telling everybody that I would like to include photos from the week in our classroom but please let me know if they prefer their child not to be included in the photos making sure that i'm respecting their boundaries and asking for permission before sending photos of their children out this page has announcements i include announcements from me from the office my principal i can also include messages from my teammates because we rotate sometimes we have some things that we need to share with each other's families co-curriculars same thing so this week i've just included another thank you for coming to our meet the teacher and then all the supplies that were donated. I asked them to fill out a contact form. I have most responses, but I still need a few more, so I included that still. Planners started going home this week. This is just a reminder to review and sign that each night. Friday folders are going to go home for the first time today. I put some information about that. This is from the office, just a reminder that their class shirt order forms are due on Tuesday. At the bottom, I always include a looking ahead to the next week, so on Monday we do not have school, and then I made sure to include the different co-curriculars that we're going to each day, especially gym day. It's important for them to know so they can wear their tennis shoes. I also put library on here. When we start going to the library weekly, I'll put a reminder on there for Tuesday. And then any larger whole school events, I make sure to include down here just so they have a sneak peek of what is coming over the next week. E-Blast should be ready to go. The last thing that I want to include is a picture of our portraits when they're up, but I'm going to do that after school. So unless I get any more announcements or things throughout the day, I'll just be ready to press send on that after school. Today is a big day because we are rotating for the first time. I'm going to meet my other two fourth grade classes for science. I have 40 minutes with them, so I plan to go through my About Me slides, just very briefly kind of touch base with them at the carpet. And then I'm also going to do that See, Think, Wonder classroom tour activity, just so they can also get a little bit more familiar with the classroom. Hopefully, I'll be able to also put them in their seats. And then if we have any extra time, I'm just going to, just like last year, have them make little name tents, of course, so I can learn their names. But that's also a really good opportunity for me to get out and mingle with them as they're doing that. And I have little stickers for them to label all their folders for science. The rest of my plans are pretty easy. I just need to pull out the materials that I have in my bin back here for today. We are officially starting our math lessons. So I have my lesson plan. I have some materials and the answers from last year. And then I have our first activity. I also have this math survey that we did not get to the other day. If we have extra time, I can always pull that out too. Or with early finishers, we don't have any of our normal options available right now so they can work on that. We're going to 
read Our Class as a Family, one of my absolute favorite books, and then we're going to talk about Our Class Family Promises, start working on that classroom contract, and then I'm going to start pulling readers one-on-one -on -one to go through that reading survey. After lunch and everything, we have science. I have my See, Think, Wonder pages ready for both classes. I have a first week reflection. If we have time, then we'll do this this afternoon. And then we're also going to have our first Pits and Cherries meeting. I'll talk about that later though because I have a few things that I want to do before my kids start coming in this morning and I need to get to work on that. I was so excited to get a few more items from my wish list. Some highlighters. I love to have these available during math especially. And our student said I was running low. Then I asked for this set of toys that I can use to fill my treasure box with. We haven't started our ticket system, but when we do, I'll make sure to talk about it. And that's what I use my treasure box for. I also got some mechanical pencils, but this one did not say who it was from. So if it was one of you, thank you very much. Let me know so I can say thank you. And now I still have about an hour before my kids are gonna start coming in. I have a one Cricut project that I wanna hopefully get done this morning. school now and I just wanted to check in. The afternoon was great. It was really fun rotating for the first time and meeting my other two groups. It flew by when I was going through my Seething Wonder activity so that was nice. And then from now on I'll just be doing science three times in a row the same lesson so I really like rotating and it was fun to start that today. And then we did our Pits and Cherries meeting which is something that I said I would talk about. This is something that my mentor taught me and it's a little classroom meeting that I do on Friday afternoons. We are thinking about the week that we had either in or out of the classroom and the students are sharing some highs and lows basically. The cherries are the best parts of their week and then pits are the worst or not so great parts of their week. They are allowed to share up to two pits and two cherries and then minimally one cherry but they cannot share a pit without a cherry so they can share one pit one cherry one pit two cherries zero pits one two cherries but they cannot share like two pits and one cherry if they have a pit they have to have a cherry with it I taught them that today and then we practiced we had our first class meeting and it was really fun it's just another nice way to get to know them and the things that they're interested in and how they feel about certain things we did that we sent home Friday folders, cleaned up the space a little bit, and then they were off for the weekend, four day weekend. The last thing I need to do right now is hang up my self portraits. I'm gonna hang them up, take a picture for my e-blast so that I can send my e-blast, and then I will be all done and ready to go. I also just wanted to mention that I just use masking tape when I hang them up because I'm only leaving them up for this year. I always just use masking tape and they've never fallen, so I'm gonna use this again this year. Just updated my books we've read bulletin board and then you saw me put all my self portraits up i love how they look and everything that they bring to our classroom i also just reset my whiteboard so it's ready to go on tuesday and set my e-blast i have everything packed up and ready to go i'm about to get out of here just want to say a quick thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one